¿Sabes qué es? Es este squeaker. I am never like 100% prepared to film, like that's just, I always forget something and you would think like by now I would know, but anyways, today I'm gonna be doing, ugh. you can tell bro, you can read the title, it is a paint with me, look at this and if you know what it is, if you can tell where it's from, then you're amazing. I don't really gotta say it, like I don't have to introduce this piece. This piece is iconic. Honestly, dare I say, more iconic than the Mona Lisa. Dare I say, no it is, it really is. Like this is, come on. I'm recreating a painting from the brilliant, the mastermind that is, it's a quick word, jq tentacles i don't even know if jq like what is that like i don't know i looked it up on the <laughs> i looked it up on spongebob.fandom.com <laughs> squidward also has at least 492 self-portraits in his house and this is fucking one of them <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm reading all of this and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like, Residence 122 Conch Street, Bikini Bottom, Pacific Ocean. That's his fucking address, bro. Anyways, yeah, I'm recreating one of his paintings. I was going to do something Disney related because your girl is a Disney fan. I like loved Disney and I really wanted to do something Disney related maybe even like Disney World like create I don't know something cool something about Disney World you know but when I saw this on Pinterest I was like I have to squick word JQ tentacles I'm blown away JQ what is what, what does that mean what does the J and Q stand for and look at that that is just art Wow. Um, also, I'm not an artist. I'm not as good as Squidward. I'm not as good as anybody. <laughs> like, I'm really shit at this. Like, I don't really work with acrylic like that. I prefer watercolor. So, so what should I do first? Should I do the background first? I'll do the background first since that's pretty freaking easy. You know, it's like a yellow orange gradient with paint strokes. Okay, I really wanted to talk about this. Like, I don't know how to talk about it. I don't know if like in a video all about this one particular subject or just a random video like this, but I seen on Twitter yesterday that they're creating a live action Powerpuff Girls. Like who the fuck asked for that? Like who wanted that? Like ain't nobody fucking wants that. Like. Was that proper? That wasn't proper English. Um, nobody wants that. Like, nobody asks for a fucking live action Powerpuff Girls. I need these companies like Disney and just everything else to realize that not everything needs a live action remake. Like, animation is good on its own. It does not need... Like, we as adults can appreciate an animated movie or TV show. Like, why is that so hard? Like, I get... Well, not I get... But I know that people look at animation like it's for kids, only for kids, but I'm just like, that's not even the truth. I haven't painted with uh, acrylic in so long. But like, live action remakes need to stop. Like, I'm for real mad. Like, nobody wants an Avatar live action remake. Like, nobody wants it. I promise you, it's not gonna be good. It's not, it's not gonna look right. Like, the beauty of animation is that you can you can create whatever you want. You can be creative. You can make things look as extravagant and magical as you want. Like, I feel like the CGI with the bending, like the water bending, the fire bending, the earth bending, it's just gonna look weird. Like it just, it's not gonna look right, okay? That was my problem with, um, what do you call it? Aladdin, the live action. Like the magic, like whenever Genie would do his like thing it just looked really weird because the cgi just looks weird like take that money and invest it into something original take like stop being lazy 
stop trying to like profit and make money off of like classic things that of course people like like because it's just not good i feel like my posture i need like a waist trainer so my posture isn't like this like i just like it's hard for me to let go of clothes and that's not good that's my toxic trait or one of my toxic traits another one of my toxic traits why am i going to talk about my toxic traits let me not talk about my toxic traits you know what i want to do i really wanted to fucking I need to stop cursing like that. I really wanted to film um, me trying to make Dole Whip at home because I've always wanted to do that. But the blender doesn't have like the blade. Like in our blender, there's, I don't, I can't find the blade to it that, you know, blends the shit together. So I have to find that. Well, like I have to ask my mom where it's at because if I can't have the blender, <laughs> then I can't make the thingy. I feel like also, TikTok like painting videos they always do like spongebob stuff like i don't know if that's just my for you page but i always see people if they paint something they'll always paint something spongebob like which i think is fun like again the cultural impact that spongebob has and the way that universal studios doesn't want to um take advantage of that like you can really profit off of spongebob universal literally has the rights to spongebob and you're not going to use it to your benefit like you're not gonna make a crusty crab restaurant like that would definitely be really popular if you made a whole cr if you made bikini bottom like the crusty crab and the chum bucket in front of it and then like actual spongebob and um squidward's house and patrick like come on but like especially the crusty crab like imagine that like a crusty crab irl and like there's a Squidward animatronic cashier in the middle. Like, you know, you know, you seen the Krusty Krab, you know what I'm talking about. Imagine that. Universal wants to be dumb. Like literally, like there's at least one different SpongeBob meme every year. Like it's culturally relevant. And I feel like it will be relevant for a long time. And the fact that they're not doing anything with it, like, are you dumb? Also, I've just been missing Disney so much. Like, every day I watch at least, like, one Disney vlog. Because I'm sick. I'm sick. Like, I'm homesick of Disney. I miss it. I need Miss Tierra Whack to drop some music. Like, please. <laughs> Tierra Whack has some good-ass songs. And, um, I kind of need her to drop something. This also is reminding me of like when I went to the Spongebob store at Universal. When I went to Universal this past the uh, summer. So good. Like that one store was probably like the happiest I was in the entire Universal theme parks in both. Now I want to watch Spongebob. Like I haven't watched Spongebob in a hot ass minute, you know. It's about to be September and my head is still in like April, March, March, April. <laughs> and it's literally about to be fucking September. Like, can we not be in September? <laughs> well, actually, low key, no, never mind. I actually want to get through this year. Like, I want 2021 so bad. Like, just anything but 2020. <laughs> I'm dumb tired of 2020. Why is my paintbrush so big? Like, for what? B. Surface to the test. You know, one of my favorite videos that I remember making, and it was a paint with me, was the paint with me. I was painting iconic vines. That one was a good video. And I'm kind of mad that I made that like last year when I didn't have nothing but like a few hundred subscribers. <laughs> so it didn't really get the attention it really deserved, to be honest, because. I really like that video. I think that has a similar effect, right? <laughs> That's as much effort as I want to put into the background, to be honest. Like, again, I'm no artiste. I took three semesters of art. That's it. Oh my god, I don't even think I have fucking green paint, so I have to make some, which is annoying. Because I better make a lot, because once you make one batch it's really hard to get the same color i really wish i had green paint oh wait i do 
Damn, bitch, I forgot. <laughs> so I mixed up my green. I think it's a good green. We'll see. I like the way that paint smells. You know what would be funny? Trying to paint while you're fried. Like, while you're fucking geeked. I feel like that would be funny. Am I doing this right? I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. Like, bitch, I can't believe it. I really can't. Like, what should I do for 30,000 subscribers? I really gotta pee, but I'm not trying to pee right now, bro. Like, I hate my weak ass bladder. Is it starting to look like it? Low key. Like, look at that. I'm low key doing that shit. Bro, I don't know what is going with me, but I bought some books recently because i'm like i want to read i want to read a book and like that's never been me i've always never been into books like even as a kid all of my teachers would always tell my mom like oh she's doing great but she just doesn't read enough one of the books that i ordered came in today so i'm hyped to read it i think i'm almost done like what else do i have to do i have to do a dark outline around the squid <laughs> the squid 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 and then i have to um do his eyeball that's it so i'm almost done here bitch finally how oh, really shit none of you bitches is fucking with me none of you bitches is fucking with me and none of you bitches fucking with me none of you bitches is fucking okay let's do this outline i'm like shaking way too much like boy I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. I'm just trying to rush to finish this at this point. Like, that's why it's coming out like shit. So now, the last things that I got to do are the eyes, which are kind of yellow-y. Like a pussycat doll. I don't answer when he calls. Okay. I'm almost done, bro. An hour and like 30 minutes later, this is my recreation of... I don't even know what the painting is called. Like, I don't know what Squidward calls this painting, but this iconic painting of Squidward, JQ Tentacles. Is that his name? JQ? Or is it QJ? It's JQ. Yeah, JQ Tentacles. Honestly, I'm pretty proud. I'm gonna go give it to my mom. He is a legend. Okay, I'm not gonna be as good as him. That's just that, but it's an attempt. Fuck Bob Ross. No, I'm kidding. Don't. No, I'm kidding. Bob Ross is cool, but like, everybody always tries to recreate Bob Ross. But how about recreating Squidward Tentacles, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that is it. Um, that's the video. Now I have this. Like, where should I put it? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint and I don't even know. Like honestly, I don't even know. Now my mom's fucking playing her music in the back. Thank God I'm like done. Okay, yeah. We're done here, bitch. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I gotta go help my mom put away groceries, so. Okay, got to go. Ow. <laughs>